वंदे गुरु परंपराम ओम उद्धव गीता ट्वेंटी एथ चैप्टर वर्स नंबर थ्री पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड कामईह मदस्तृष्ण स्तंभ आशीर्धा सुख मदोत्साह यश प्रीति हास्यम वीर बलोद्यम लाड कृष्ण हेज एंटर the topic of uh, gunatraya viveka just as we saw in the bhagavad gita 14th chapter guna gnanam leads to gunatita gnanam every individual is a mixture of three gunas this is the highlight point we have to remember when i say i am my life my body my biography my behavior my thinking my actions my words my thoughts all are mixed with three gunas sattva guna rajoguna tamoguna how i have got these three gunas that also we have to remember because i the body me is made up out of five elements akasha vayu agni apaha prithvi space air fire water and earth body is another format of five elements this is the fact all the five elements are also born out of maya maya is trigunatmika maya is nothing but three gunas combination assemblage wherever it is that is maya since maya has got three gunas it is karanam for five elements therefore five elements are also having three gunas those five elements are the cause for my body mind complex therefore body mind complex also having three gunas this is the development of our scriptures regarding the formation of the body mind complex you cannot see with your eyes just like that the whole process the more you analyze into that shruti yukti anubhava dwara you can understand lingam lingam means um, the indicatory marks of a person's behavior that indication shows lord krishna said this gunas are there this person is having sattva guna predominantly these gunas are there rajo guna these gunas these characteristics are there tamo guna like that so the inference they are all indicatory marks that is what we are seeing here in this verse sattva guna first in the second verse he said and third verse rajo guna and the fourth verse tamo guna what are the characteristics nature of that person mindset 
especially mind influence by the three gunas three gunas combination is uh, um, structured you can say structured in the form of mind buddhi ahankara etc so guna tita gnana means atma gnana i the atma i am free from all these three gunas they cannot afflict me they cannot touch me they cannot uh, anoint me so guna tita gnanam is called atma gnanam why i have to get atma gnanam the whole world whatever you are seeing anywhere anything problem samasya uh, any problem at body level mind level world level if you see anything is because of self ignorance sheer self ignorance mere self ignorance atma agnyanam individual level problems also limitations bhayam so many other limitations of a human being because of self ignorance family problems because of self ignorance society problem because of self ignorance everything is because of atma agnyanam so five anatmas we have to know body is anatma mind is anatma world is anatma profession is anatma possessions are anatma all of them are anatma to claim this i am atma i am not anatma i require anatma body mind complex remember this is another important note we have to remember carefully even though body mind they are a mixture of gunas lot of complications are there lot of limitations are there still to say to claim that i am atma i am satchidananda atma free from birth death vyadhi etc i have to recognize this fact through the anatma body mind medium through body mind medium alone i can claim i am not the body to say i am not the body mind i need the body i need the mind without that pure consciousness pure atma can never claim i am atma pure atma shuddha atma can never claim therefore body is a best medium instrument i should not neglect the body ignore the body abuse the body sense organs mind you have to carefully handle the more you carefully handle intelligently it will become spiritually friendly body mind you make use of this body through ashtanga yoga abhyasa fit body fit mind fit sense organs subtle intellect if you have you are the wonderful medium to claim that aham brahma asmi that is the reason in our scriptures ashtanga yoga is heavily recommended dhyana sadhanam asana sadhanam pranayama sadhanam and many other disciplines also along with that similarly body mind complex is very much needed to claim i am brahman just like payasam cup you take payasam without cup you cannot enjoy the payasam without cup you cannot enjoy the payasam so you drink the payasam you throw the cup you drop out the cup you should not say wait to and drop the cup i want to swallow the cup also means you cannot swallow the cup 
ఇవి స్వాలో ఓన్లీ డ్రింక్ ఓన్లీ పాయసం ఖీర్ పాల పాయసం ఎంజాయ్ బట్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ద కప్ ఎంజాయ్ ద పాయసం లీవ్ ద కప్ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద కప్ వీ ఆర్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద పాయసం లైక్ దాట్ బాడీ మైండ్ ఈస్ లైక్ ఎ కప్ కంటైనర్ అండ్ ద ఆత్మ అహం బ్రహ్మ అస్మి ఈజ్ ఎ లైక్ ఎ పాయసం పాల పాయసం ఎంజాయ్ ఇట్ యు టేక్ ఎనీ స్వీట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ లైక్ యు రిక్వైర్ కంటైనర్ దాట్ స్వీట్ యు క్యాన్ ఎంజాయ్ another example also i used to give paul walter a person who does high jump the high jump whoever does they take the pole vault the pole vault is to go high and to jump that side and to get a gold medal and while jumping that side he has to drop that pole vault you should not say anyhow i have to drop the pole vault why i have to take the pole vault you cannot say after going up why to leave this pole vault i have come all the way to height because of this i don't want to drop this pole vault also you cannot say make use of the pole vault go to the height and jump that side leave the pole vault intelligently prakshalanadi pankasya duraad asparshanam varam you should not say why to keep the my foot in the dirty water and clean na you should not say like that why to use the pole vault anyhow i have to drop na you have to use it and drop you cannot drop first first take it use it and drop it same way body mind complex also take it take it means take care of it make use of it use of it means how you use for all noble actions noble thoughts and scriptural study getting gnanam all this you make use of it and say goodbye to the body mind complex thank you you have to say when you can say when you have sattva guna predominantly that is possible since everybody is having tamo rajo guna tamo guna sattva guna one has to come cross over the tamo guna to rajo guna to sattva guna dominantly why lord krishna said sattva sanjayate gnanam because of sattva guna only atma gnanam can arise that is the purpose of studying this very important portion in this third verse we were seeing rajo guna <coughs> kamaha desire eha lot of expectations activities then mada pride trishna more and more you know amassing the wealth covetousness trishna means a lot of desires stambha you know, haughtiness stiff necked person and so ashihi means um, praying for all comforts bhida and uh, seeing the difference between all things lot of uh, selfishness ityartha mm. then um, madotsahaha madotsaha means militant type of um, activity now you see that uh, hamas <laughs> that uh, terrorist organization attacking the israel all muslim countries became one fighting to convert that is israel into islamic state this is called madotsaha 
how many people they are killing there. Hmm? These are the things happening in the world. People because of <coughs> highly rajasic and tamasic. Sattva gunam you cannot find in them very very minute drop, you know, like uh, dot like. Because sattva gunam has to be there because combination. But you cannot find that person treacherous uh, mind, treacherous nature called madotsaha. That utsaham is born out of madam pride. In the name of uh, religion, hmm? they are uh, killing the people, destroying the cultures, uh, so many things they are doing. And yashak um, preeti, he desire for um, name and fame, interest, craving for name and fame. My name is there or not, my photo is there or not. Everybody love their photo, everybody love their name. But too much of um, craving for that, Preetihi, is the sign of Rajoguna. When these gunas are separately, they are there, these are gunas are topmost. Then, Hasyam, criticizing others. Viryam, a lot of um, valor showing the power. Aggressiveness, Balod Yamaha, showing the aggressiveness, like Hamas and Hezbul also joined with that now and many countries also joined in that terrorist organizations to destroy other beliefs, other religions, faiths and all they want to destroy. See that is why we saw in our Puranas how Rakshasas Devi Navaratri is going to come in another 10 days. What is the whole Devi Navaratri? Nothing but uh, Tamoguna, Rajoguna people and Satraguna people fighting. Fighting. That is uh, shown in Devi Navaratri time. Dharma Adharma Yuddham. Righteousness and unrighteousness, there will be always fighting. Then who will win finally? Uh, dharma only will win. Because that is the Dharma which is protecting the universe. But these Gunas are there, they are harmful to that person. All our great, great engineers, uh, recently they um, found out that people who are all militants, uh, not ordinary, highly well qualified people, but perverted minds. Perverted minds. Not having any knowledge about uh, cultures, uh, humanity, human, humanity, uh, humanness, humanness is not there. That type of mind is a cruel, um, a cruel, cruel type. Up to here we saw in the last class, we do not know how far this war is going to take place. Hmm? Bombarding uh, from past three days, uh, such a situation Israel is facing. Hmm? Like this, all these terrorists are all over the world. They are threat to the world. Ashanti. They are creating Ashanti in the world because of these uh, gunas. They are dominated in them. What Shastra says, drop that uh, uh, um, intense uh, Tamoguna, Rajoguna, it is dangerous to the entire creation. Rakshasas are always threat to the universe. We are well uh, informed in this uh, Hiranyakashvu, Hiranyaksha, um, all Maheshasura, so many other Rakshasas. This always a tug of war will be there. A few people, fortunate one, join with the dharma, dharmic side. Therefore, develop sattva guna. When you can develop, when you know these are all qualities are there in me, rajasic nature. If you see this sloka, third sloka, if any one of them are highly intensely there in me, I am a rajasic person. 
that above second shloka if you see shamaha damaha titiksha all are there suppose in me you know, at least 50 percent you can be happy i'm a sattvic person so to uh, look at yourself it is a litmus test like uh, you look at yourself where i am how to change myself from this guna to other guna tamo guna to rajo guna rajo guna to sattva guna so that my spiritual path can be very clear green signal for that purpose for loka shanti sattva guna is good for uh, griha shanti for family peace also sattva guna is good for internal spiritual upliftment atma gnanam also sattva guna is good therefore look into the fourth shloka now sattva guna over rajo guna over now tamo guna tamo guna is there without mixing sattva and rajo guna what is the nature of tamo guna krodho lobho nrutam himsa yancha dambha klama kalihi shoka moha vikshadir vishadarti nidrasha bhira nudyamah tamasik nature is that when a person is having krodha anger intense anger normally krodha is taken as rajoguna in bhagavad gita by lord krishna kama esha krodha eshaha rajoguna samudbhavah mahashano mahapapma vidhena miha vairinam there lord krishna took krodha as rajoguna influence but here Lord Krishna taking Krodha is because of Tamoguna. Because Rajoguna and Tamoguna sometimes they overlap. Because of Tamoguna, Krodha, because of Kama, Krodha comes. So Rajoguna comes under Kama, Krodha comes under Tamoguna, therefore they overlap each other many times. Krodhaha, anger. When anger is there, a person take wrong decisions and wrongly they punish also. Therefore, whenever anger comes, first we have to uh, avoid that um, impulsive reactions. Three things we have to remember. I used to say many times, anger kills the person. Anger is the cause for uh, acidity inside your stomach also anger is the cause for many diseases even blood pressure lot of ailments comes because of anger whether you express it or not express it it is um, more dangerous one's own anger that is why lord krishna said uh, vairi your enemies they are our mind itself Many times, you know, any behavior is not good, other person, suppose anybody is uh, insulting us, uh, humiliating us, immediately person, repercussions will come, anger will come, and uh, impulsive reactions, that is uh, not good. Avoid impulsive reactions when you are under anger, that is called titiksha, develop sattva guna. So, Titiksha, we saw in Sattva Guna category. So, Titiksha expression is what? You won't take, first you won't get anger. Even a Sattvic person get anger, he will never take or she will never take any impulsive reactions towards others. Number one. Number two, the punishment can be avoided to that person harsh punishment if any person does mistake giving harsh punishment immediately that has to be avoided intense punishment tit for tat 
that gives some joy to the individual. Whenever somebody humiliating, immediately we retard. Or somebody misbehaves us, immediately we retard. Huh? Why to uh, accept that immediately, without thinking? So that type of uh, um, immediate punishing the other person you have to avoid. That is uh, another point. That means uh, violent um, punishment or uh, violent um, uh, actions taking towards others is not ideal. Develop the diksha. So violent solutions. Taking solution for you know, uh, some remedy that violent solutions you have should not take up immediately. If at all you have to take Sama, Dana, Bheda, Danda is there Swamini according to Dharma Shastra. Why can't I take Danda? Hey, before Danda, punishment, violent punishment, there are three more things Sama, Dana, Bheda. Many people do not know what is Sama, what is Dana, what is Bheda. If you read Panchatantra, you can understand beautifully what is Sama, Dana, Bheda. Tyagaraja also wrote, Sarasa Sama, Dana, Bheda, Danda, Chaturani. Sama means uh, making the other person enemy by some um, uh, very soft method, Sama. Dana, give more and more gifts to appease him. Bheda, divide the enemies. <laughs> divide them, they become weak. Bheda. Then Danda, if they don't listen, finally punish. Mm -hmm. That's what Rama did to Ravana. He gave a lot of opportunity. Even Pradhira Chauhan also gave um, so many chances to Muhammad Ghori. Muhammad Ghajani or Ghori, somebody. Uh, like that, uh, they excuse finally punishment. Like that, Samadhana, Bheda, Danda is there. Even violent solution. Violence is the solution for that person. You should not uh, uh, take immediately, but after studying the situation, its pros and cons, plus points and consequences of violent solution, making use of it before that you have to see um, what are the um, consequences, plus and minus consequences, you have to study and you have to take the solution. Punishment is allowed, but um, what uh, way you are giving the punishment is important, not like a vengeance. Therefore, if you study Dharma Shastra or you see the great Mahatmas, great warriors, uh, great warriors who are very dharmic and very intelligent. Such a people's story, history, if you study, you understand how great they are. They never violate dharma. At the same time, they punish the atatai. Atanki atatai means, uh, according to Dharma Shastra, atatai, the person who is a tamasic atatai terrorist, militants are called atatais. They are uh, avicharena, you without a shoot at sight orders, permitted in the Shastra. Na vicharena, you need not think about, uh, you need not wait, immediately punish. But uh, in our country, many, uh, all um, traitors, all sorts of uh, whatever illegal they have done, they go to court and get the bail and come back. Such way people have lost their belief and trust in court also. That should not happen. So punishment is also to be given to a criminal at a proper time, in a proper punishment to be given. So Krodhaha. Then Tamoguna predominant, how it expresses Lobhaha, greediness miserliness. 
then Andutam. Many of all this you know, we saw in Bhagavad Gita elaborately. Nothing is new, but just uh, loudly I am sharing with you. Anrutha means telling lies or untruth. Himsa, that is consequence of anger. Himsa means uh, uh, violence, uh, hurting others. Vacha and Karmana, hurting others. What Hamas is doing now? Violence only, Himsa. So Prana Rakshanartham, Israel has to fight again. They have to fight. So they create unrest in the country and they sit in different, different countries, all these terrorists. They create unrest in the countries and um, they start uh, putting bombs, uh, attacking that. So that is the problem when people are tamasic, highly tamasic. They don't understand at all. They don't understand any language. Therefore, shoot at sight orders. Bhagavan Krishna <laughs> did to Sishupala, you know, using the chakram like that. <coughs> Himsa. Then, yancha, begging. Here, begging means not like a other beggar here. Begging means taking anything freely. Everything freely in that. Anything I use somebody's uh, even uh, classes when we listen also we should not take freely. Swami used to say those days, if you take any cassette from another student or CDs from other student, that student bought with money, thousands of rupees uh, has given and bought that. And you take freely and listen means even though because of friendship she has given to you. But that um, you should not make use of it freely, anything. You have to repay for that money. Either you give it to Guru as a Guru Darshana or put that money in the temple as an Inhundi, you can put. But never take anything freely. The mindset is what people can, anything comes freely. Now, OC. Osiya varana LRK me. Osi no original conscious where not here. Okay, Osiya varana na freely. Anything uh, is available freely means people stand in the queue. Hmm? Never take anything freely. Afterwards, one way or other, you have to pay it. Bhagavan will collect from you. This is called dharma. This is called value. You can never get anything freely. Even you take also, you won't get benefit. That is a guru always um, to be a, um, no, uh, you make guru happy by giving lot of dakshana. Shastra says, Acharyaya priyandhana mahritya praja. Acharyaya priyandhana mahritya. Ahritya, you give lot of guru dakshana to guru. Anna. That is very, whether guru is required or not, doesn't matter. It is not your job to think whether Guru needs or not. No. When I listen from my Guru, when not from uh, only Vedanta, anything, anything you take from others, you get benefit from that. You have to give it. Very, very important this. It's the best, highest value to refine the mind. But the tamasic people, they take, 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 take anything freely comes in. Because everything is available in YouTube nowadays. Nobody will ask. Even though they don't ask, we have to give. That is our duty. Then it shows. This is called self-esteem. Respecting your own values. Why to take anything freely? I should not. Something or other I have to repay. If you don't have money, give in another form. Help, some other form you have to do. Never take anything from anyone freely. But if you take, uh, you are a tamasic person on earth. Unrefined mind on earth. Who says? Krishna says. I am not telling. Uh, otherwise, uh, whatever money comes, uh, so many ashramas have to be maintained, so many, so much of dharmic activities have to be maintained. So, first of all, I have to get a benefit and never take freely. If I take freely, it comes under what? Yancha. It is called begging. 
then dambaha ancha means looking for things freely <laughs> dambaha means um, procrastination or arrogance dambaha arrogance klamaha in the last class uh, in one more word i am going back second verse danam daya comes two times um, i would like to share one more point there first line daya you can take it as a care care for others pujya swami ji kept the name daya um, that means sorry, aim for seva is called care caring called daya another second line daya in the second verse last class i said that daya means sharing first line caring second line is called sharing charity daya whatever you have so caring is also daya concern empathy sympathy you can take daya first line care and second line daya you can take accommodation accommodating sharing very nice and chavor dambhavor klamaha over klamaha means here strain shrama tamasic people always they have a lot of shrama nothing done but feel tiredness lazy people also say i am so tired by evening they say so tired what you have done and nothing but they have tiredness shrama klamaha then kalihi a tamasic person is always trying to somehow creating quarrel between others either he quarrel with others or he create quarrel with in between others there is a nice shloka kavya shastra vinodena kalo gachati dhimata wise people intelligent people always spend their time kavya shastra vinoda kavya means uh, reading nice books literature all those things shastra studying shastra we know the um, righteous and proper entertainment um, that is we know the kala gachati dhimata but uh, murkhana what they do vyasanena kalahena va those people vyasanena cha murkhana addiction vyasana means what drinking smoking drugs all these are called vyasanam w w w na wealth women wine these are the three things world wide web world wide web ki my words are what na that world wide web is different google okay w w w more dangerous if you don't know how to handle why wine wealth and women wine comes under any type of drugs addiction so that type of um, vyasanena murkhanam nidraya kalahena cha that shloka says nidraya always sleepy sleeping sunday comes and then they sleep up to 12 o'clock that is the sunday program <laughs> half day gone sleep le then um, kalahena always quarrel the kali next one is kali kali means what quarrel shoka moha shoka means grief moha means delusion grief and delusion delusion means confusion tamasic people are those people if you are near to them they will influence you therefore never do any friendship i told you in the last class kalilo rajasa tamasa gunamulu gala vari chelli migala simela sitirugaka tirugutsu mari kalamu gadapakka e annar jagaraja don't spend your time with those tamasic people never do such friendship vishada vishadarthi vishadascha artischa dwanda samasa vishadarthi depression depression person that's why meditation is not advised for a, a person tamasic person already lazy sleepy if you teach meditation to that person more sleepy more depressed 
always uh, uh, thinking that as though something lost, hmm? expecting uh, uh, love from others, care from others, all that time, depressed person. Now that is depression cases are increasing day by day because of a single child or single family, the father is not there or mother is not there, diverse cases are increasing, children are only single at home, no siblings. Because of that uh, there is no uh, care, share, anything in the family, not many depression comes. Somebody should be there to share. Bhagavan is there, go and share in front of him. You will be free from depression. Anybody can get depression at any age. If you are not uh, careful in taking care of your life, any experience in the life, any relation will cause depression. Very, very careful. That's why keep uh, always Bhagawan with you. Hmm? World dependence to God dependence. God dependence to self dependence. God dependence is very, very important. Vishadarti. Nidra. Nidra means sleepy or sleeping. Drowsy person. Always love to sleep. Asha, that's why you more eating person, no? glutton, he will get more sleep. More sleep means he cannot do any productive work, creative work. Asha, Asha means here effortlessly uh, expecting things without doing any effort and having desires. Lot of desires are there, but never put any effort. That person is called Asha. Asha is the another expression of Tamoguna. Bhihi, fear. There is a lot of fear because of all these uh, negative qualities. Uh, Bhaya only will be there. And showing that as though he is courageous. Uh, lot of fear inside, but uh, um, Procrastination, showing outside as though I am courageous. Immediately you can understand that person really courageous or not by his words or behavior you can understand. So he, he, bhayam is, will be there. Then anudhyamaha, lack of effort, not putting effort, always blaming the things are not good, that is not good, not always saying something or other. No, minus points, not looking at himself, because if he look at himself, he has to put effort. Therefore, blaming other family members, he is not done this, he is not done this, like that. Putting blame on others, not taking effort or responsibility on oneself. That is called here Anudhyamaha. Um, Udhyamaha means putting effort. Anudhya Maha means not putting any effort. Next shloka. With this uh, Sattva Guna, Rajo Guna, Tamo Guna over, now Lord Krishna is going to say the combination. Number 5. Sattvasya Rajasascha Rajasascha oh, Sorry. Eta main. There is a two kombu irka mele. Sattvasya Rajasas Chaitaha Tamasas Chanu Purvashaha Vrittayo Varnita Prayaha Sannipata Matho Shrunu Sattvasya Rajasas Chaitaha Tamasas Chaitaha Vrittayaha Anupurvashaha Varnita Prayaha. Like that you have to do Anmaya. Sattva Guna, Rajo Guna, Tamo Guna, all these three, Etaha, Vrittayaha. Vrittayaha means here characteristics, nature, their swabhava, their uh, expressions mentioned 
अनुवर्णिताः रेस्पेक्टिवली दे आर मेंशनड सत्व रजस एंड तमस इन द श्लोकास नंबर टू थ्री एंड फोर अनुपूर्वशः मीन्स रेस्पेक्टिवली इन दट आर्डर वर्णिता प्राय एक्सास्टिवली एक्सास्टिवली मोस्ट ऑफ दैम मेन्शनड इन टू थ्री फोर फुल स्टाप सन्नीपात स्मत अथ शृणु हे उद्धव शृणु इधानी नौ यू लिजन वाट सन्नीपात अध्यास सन्नीपात मीन्स अभिमान आर् ईडेटिफिकेशन आर् असोसिएशन असोसिएशन आर् ईडेटिफिकेशन आर् अध्यास आफ दीस् थ्री गुणा टुगेदर मे यू लिजन वेर्स नंबर सिक्स सन्नीपातस्वहमीमेुद्धव या मति व्यवहार सन्नीपात मनो मात्रेन्द्रियो मनो मात्रेन्द्रियासु वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम हियर इज गिविंग द मिक्सचर वेन दीज थ्री पुट टुगेदर हाउ दे इंफ्लूंस हाउ दे आर एक्सप्रेस That is given here. Sannipata means um, uh, association, togetherness, sattva, rajas, and tamas mixture is called sannipata. Because of that, aham iti I am bhavana abhimana claiming body mind complex am myself. That is aham. then mama he uddhava because of the mixture of these three gunas person says i am first then mind mama mind yah mati hi bhavati which ideas these are all ideas aham bhavana mama bhavana identification with the uh, with their possessions मति ही मीन्स ऐडिया व्यवहार सन्नीपात मन मनोमात्र इंद्रिय इंद्रियासु दवहार टेक्स प्लेस वेन द सत्वगुण रजोगुण तमोगुण दे आर् सपरेट इंडिविजुअली देर नेचर वी हव सीन नौ हि सीज वेन दे आर् टुगेदर हौ दीज दे आर् द काज फॉर द फंक्शन ऑफ दीस से आर्गा मैंड एंड प्राण सत्वरजस्तमोगुण कांबिनेशन मिस्चर इज द काज फर् वाट एंड वाट मैंड फर् द फंक्षन ऑफ द मैंड मात्र मीन फाइव एलिमेंट्स तन्मात्र सटिल एलिमेंट्स यू कैन टेक सटिल एलिमेंट्स लेटर दे बिकम ग्रॉस एलिमेंट्स काज लीड टू भौतिक शरीर सो मात्र इंद्रिय टेन से आर्गा ग्राम पंच ज्ञान इंद्रिया पंच कर्मेन्द्रिया आसु मीन प्राण आसु वै प्राण सो प्राण इज फंक्षनिंग फर् एनी व्यवहार इंटराक्षन वित् द वर्ल फैमिली मेबर वित् एनी अदर पर्सन You want to do interaction? How you do with the mind, with the sense organs? You must have prana first, and the body also required, which is made out of five elements. Of course, mind prana also made out of five subtle elements. So five elements are involved. Mind is involved. Prana is involved. Ten sense organs are involved. when i am talking when you are listening what are all involved prana is involved mind is involved sense organs involved in every vyavahara interaction all these are involved how they are doing because of mixture mixture of whom sattva rajas tamas trigunas next verse 
now onwards very simple because this is a familiar for us in 14th chapter but some new ideas krishna gives here dharme charthe cha kame cha eda sauparinishthitah gunanam sannikarshoyam shraddha rati dhanavah this uh, type of expression in this uddhava gita only you can see regarding the gunas not in bhagavad gita <laughs> so now he says um, a person who is um, satvic mixture is there satva rajas tamas um, says gunanam sannikarshah identity with on the guna mishram sannikarshah means guna mishram gunanam sannikarshah how na yada when asau purushah this person parinishthitah parinishthitah bhavati means committed to parinishthitah means committed to doing devoted to that <laughs> dharma number 1 dharma means here duty one's own varna dharma ashrama dharma given duties okay and having faith in scriptures having faith in shastra having faith in ishvara that is called dharma contributing mentality taking some from freely is called consumerism consume consuming everything from others you know taking 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 but dharma is that sattva guna when it is uh, dominant even though it is mixture when a person sattva guna is dominant in spite of that tamo guna rajo guna mixture but sattva guna is we can say srt according to our gita class srt sattva is a service minded contributing mind helping mind that is called dharma then artha <coughs> dharme parinishthitah bhavati gunanam sannikarshe dharme parinishthitah bhavati you have to supply sentence like that arthe gunanam sannikarshah arthe parinishthitah bhavati when rajoguna is there predominant rst rajoguna sattvaguna tamoguna rst dharma means srt noble actions when he does artha means riches always materialistic prosperity materialistic prosperity is high in this person artha means wealth the wealth means what rajasik predominant kamaha means attachment tamo guna predominant kame gunanam sannikarshah parinishthitah bhavati kame parinishthitah bhavati desires always bhavati then what ayam sannikarshah this type of mixture shraddha ratihi dhanavah respectively so dharma sattva guna gunanam sannikarsha dharma leads to shraddha guru vedanta vakyeshu vishwasah shraddha so that shraddha shraddha and dharma go together then artha and ratihi attachment mostly uh, materialistic prosperity most materialistic prosperity wealth 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 money 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 attachment go together because of rajoguna tamoguna is their kama and dhanavah ratih means entertainment sense pleasures saavah means generation generator generators sattvaguna is the generator of dharma which leads to shraddha and uh, tamo rajoguna is the generator of artha craving for richness and craving for uh, entertainment enjoy pleasures khao pivo maza karo 
then uh, tamoguna generate kama and dhanam a lot of uh, uh, wealth amassing the wealth dhanam all types of uh, dhanam these are the three combinations then next uh, eighth shloka pravrutti lakshane nishtha puman yarhi grihashrami swadharme chanu tishtheta gunanam samitir hisam pums puman the human being individual puman yaha hi grihashrami means uh, grihastashrama household the same idea above same idea is given here um grihashra means tama sanga tamo guna sanga uh, most tamasik nature is there pravritti lakshane nishtha he is having pravritti lakshana means materialistic amassing the wealth a family children i want this that and all that's uh, rajoguna um predominant it's so, a pravritti lakshane materialistic uh, approach swadharme that will increase cha anutishtheta so in that swadharma means karma yoga he will uh, here द्वितीयार्थे सप्तमी स्वधर्मी द्वितीयार्थे स्वध ते सप्तमी विभक्ति इज देयर बट द्वितीय यू हैव टू टेक ही फॉलो कर्म योगा इवन दो ही इज इंटरेस्टेड इन वेल्थ बट ही शुड फॉलो कर्म योगा स्वधर्मी अनुतिष्ठेता गुणा नाम समिति ही सा मे यू अंडर्स्टैंड दैट इज गुणा संग समिति मीन संग इट इज ए मिक्सर आफ थ्री गुण गृहस्थाश्रम हि हाज टू अर्न लाट आफ मनी बिकाज हि हाज टू डू लाट आफ ड्यूटी रेस्पासीबिटी आर् देर एंड हि फॉलो कर्म योग इट इज वंडरफुल दट ईज द ऐडिया नेक्स्ट श्लोक आलो इन इंट्रड्यूस पुषम सत्संयुक्त अनुमीयाचमादि कामाजो युक्त क्रोधाद्यतमसायुत यू कैन अंडर्स्टैंड एज एम रीडिंग सेम ऐडिया रिपीटेड पुषम दि ह्यूमन बीयिंग सत्संयुक्त वेन् हिईज सत्वगुण असोसिएटेड विथ सत्वगुण प्रिडामिनेंटली अनुमीयता मे यू इनफर् मे यू इनफर् इन दट पर्सन शमादिवि द फस्ट सेकेंड श्लोक वाट हि सैड दट सत्वगुण कैरेक्टरिस्टिस् यू कैन इनफर् कामाधि रजोयुक्त वेन् काम ईज देर you can think that person is rajo yuktam rajo guna predominant kama means what i want this i want i want i want i want always i want everything that is consuming consumerism previous one contributor contributing for family members contributing for the society is a sattvic person it for spiritual upliftment how to grow for spiritually more and more forward and gunas are very important here sattva guna then krodha adhyayi tamasa yutam yutam means endowed with when a person is angry you understand this person is tamasik when person is crazy for money wealth and all you understand that person is rajasik and person is having mind control balanced mind sense control is there you understand that person is sattvic endowed with sattva guna more in the next class
ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदे पूर्णश पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं